Also new tonight, he helped make painful pranks famous. And now, a local actor wants to warn you after a copycat prankster seriously hurt a drive through employee over the weekend. When pranks and stunts become pain and hurt people and do things like that and ruins, ruins people's lives, it's not funny anymore. KCRA 3's Danielle Lee is live with more on the fire and the whole stunt that has this reality star upset. Adrian, this is the cream spinach that someone threw back at a Boston Market drive through yelling, fire in the hole. They left the cashier with second and third degree burns, and it's outcomes like that 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 local reality star I talked to said led him to stop pulling pranks altogether. <laughs> Tully Leatherface Blackwood is seen here using a staple gun to stick a note on his friend. The former prankster appeared on MTV's Viva La Bam, a cast he credits with creating this fire in the hole prank years ago. Fire in the hole! In the stunt drive through customers throw food or beverages they've ordered back at the cashier. Um, Why do these stunts at all? Making people laugh. Telly called us after hearing someone in Roseville copied the stunt, leaving David Almas with severe burns. I think it's out of control. We spoke to David last night about YouTube videos like the ones Telly used to make glorifying pranks. I find it very appalling that people think that that is just a really funny joke to pull. Do you ever feel partially responsible or guilty for sometimes giving them these ideas? Sometimes I feel bad. Seeing the thing, I encourage all the not do these things. Roseville police are still looking for the people responsible for that prank that injured David. They could face felony assault charges. Reporting live in Sacramento, Danielle Lee, KTRA 3 Night.